Hey, bros and muffos, what the hell is going down with you guys? We are here on Age of Wyverns. If you guys want to join, search for Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list here on Xbox One and PC if you have the Windows 10 version of ARC. And yes, my head grew wings. Don't ask me how, but I want to show you guys something pretty cool today that I've never done a video on for some reason. Um, probably it's because spiders terrify me, but anyway dudes, I want to show you guys today the three commands on how to spawn in the Araneo, 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 I don't know how to say it, but we're just going to call it a spider from here on out. And uh, the first command I'm going to show you is a custom level tamed the second command is going to be a random level wild. And the third command is going to be a random level force tamed. So you won't have to ride that one with a saddle. Um, I'm here with my boy Hellhound. <laughs> oh my god, he just jumped off into the water. <laughs> that boy's going to get leeched. Where's a cap rope? Anyway, um, I'm here with Hellhound and my buddy Verde Thunder. And we're going to be getting it today. I'm going to show you guys what these bad boys do. They're actually pretty cool because you can like shoot webs and whatnot. And holy crap, they're awesome. But uh, let me spawn in the first one over here. It's going to be cheat space GM summon space quotation spider S. So kind of like spiders underscore character underscore BP underscore C quotation space whatever level you want so um, I'm gonna type in a 500 here keep in mind whatever number you type in it's gonna add 50 percent of that number to that level so if I type in 500 it's gonna add another 250 so I'm really getting a level 750 here um, and also keep in mind that you don't have to put cheat in front of the command if you're in your own single-player server if you're an admin in somebody else's server or hosting your own server um, or whatever you're gonna have to put cheat the only time you don't have to put cheat is if you're in your own single-player server so um, that is let's see let me oh that command also makes them follow you so make sure you whistle stop and then I want to show you guys the command for the saddle it's gonna be cheat space GFI space spider s space one space zero space zero this is the primitive spider saddle if you want an ascendant spider saddle change that first zero to a 100 and you have an ascendant spider saddle we're gonna go ahead and equip the ascendant one and then I'm gonna unclaim this for him to ride and show off with us Unclaim. there you go and a weird thing about these is that if you're riding them on this, they tend to go into the structure. They like lean into it. Let me go into orbital camera and you can see its whole head is like under the ground. So, um, but if we're on man-made structure, it's all well and good. Everything's normal. So uh, a little bit about these guys. They have two attacks. The main attack tranquilizes. Target's torpor will increase by 10 points over 10 seconds, and the effect stacks. I don't know if there's a limit to how much it stacks, but if that stacks, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You can get about two attacks in per second. If you get, um, let's see, two attacks in, that's going to raise it 20 points over the next 10 seconds. But by the time the 10 seconds is up, you will have gotten 20 bytes in. And, uh, let's see, that's, I don't know, that's, holy crap, that's 20 times 10, that's like 200 torpor in 10 seconds that you can drain by doing just the main attack. So these guys are incredibly freaking awesome. I'm not sure why more people don't tame these bad boys. Um, yeah, holy crap, dude, that's crazy. Uh, it prefers raw meat whenever you're taming it, so make sure you've got raw meat. I'm sure there probably is a kibble you can use, maybe. I'm not, actually, I'm not too sure, but I'm assuming maybe there's a kibble you can use to tame this faster. Um, no, actually, it doesn't look like there is. 
Spoiled meat is the best thing you can use. Did I say raw meat? I meant to say spoiled. Uh, if you're taming a level 1 with official server settings, it's going to take 21 spoiled meat. Uh, if you're taming a level 1, it's going to take 138 raw meat and 344 raw fish meat. So the best thing to use on these bad boys if you're taming them is spoiled meat. But who tames nowadays when we have admin command? No, I'm playing. I'm sorry. This video is not only about admin commands. It is everything you need to know about these uh, spiders as well. So the secondary attack you can see we are using uh, a lot of here <laughs> is the alternate attack that webs so um, it shoots a projectile that reduces movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds so if you're attacking something which we're about to swim over that island and do uh, I would suggest webbing it first just webbing it one time is all you're gonna have to do and then attacking with the main attack it's gonna pass it out it's gonna knock it out and do quite a bit of damage I'm guessing I guess we'll see how much damage it does for sure though it's gonna be knocking that bad boy out uh, you can't do the alternate attack in water, and if I might add, these things aren't the fastest swimmers that I've ever swam with, so it's going to take us a minute to get to the island, but we are going to test these out. You can do the main attack in water, so that's cool. They drop raw meat and chitin, or chitin, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Some people say different things. It's carryable by the Capro. The Megalosaurus, the Argy, the Quetz, the Wyvern, and the Giant Squid. Ooh, we've got a Sarko ahead of us. It's immobilized by the Bola, Air Trap, Plant Species Y, and it can damage Thatch and Greenhouse. So watch out if you're building in a cave. Alright, let's take down this Sarko. I don't know what level it is. Ooh, look at that. Reduces movement speed by 50%, and you can keep doing it, and I'm guessing that it resets the timer over and over again. This is a level 435 Sarko, so oh my god. I hope we didn't just pick a fight with the wrong dino. I'm going to try to stay on its backside until... Oh my god, oh my god, it's death rolling. It took him off. It took Hellhound off his... <laughs> it's breaking Hellhound's armor. <laughs> this was a horrible idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just recently set the max wild dino stats for the server to um, pretty high. I did the thing to 15, which makes it go up to like, I don't know, 500, I think is the max level, or 500 something. I have seen quite a few 400s and stuff like that. But the, uh, yeah, the difficulty offset is 15. So wild dinos can get pretty high level. I wonder what level this is. Level 60. Yeah, so aside from the um, max wild dino levels being increased, I also increased the max player level to 300. So we can now ascend all the way to 300. And uh, it's not scaled. After you hit 100 at official stats, um, it's going to be 20... Ooh, my controller battery is really low. It's going to be 20... Uh, 1,000 XP per level to level up after level 100. I'm out of stamina, so I'm going to chill, see how long it takes to regain it. Uh, it's actually kind of taking a minute. Well, it took a second to get started, but then it goes fairly quick. This is not so bad. We did swim all the way over here, attack a whole Sarko, kill a kangaroo. We've done quite a bit, so I mean, the stamina will last. But this is also level 750, so... I guess that's expected. Where'd they go? I want to kill some dinos. Oh, I think someone's getting attacked. Oh, they killed a Pariser. Nice. Yeah, so if you've got even one of these in your party and something that does high attack, that would be pretty cool. You're going to be knocking the dino out. Actually, I wonder if this knocks wild dinos out because that would be really cool for taming. Uh, it doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage. It's only doing 78. Like I said, it is fitting in about two attacks per second. But I'm not sure if it's actually knocking the dino out. Maybe if I keep attacking this uh, Procoptodon. 
instead of getting stomped on by these Parasertheriums. We can see. I don't know what's going to happen. The Parasertheriums have it out for us, although they're all webbed up. Man, the web thing is so cool. I cannot believe that it slows by 50%. So just having one of these in your uh, raid party is really going to freaking... Just, I think it's really going to make a difference, honestly. Uh, this, along with a high attack, like a... I don't know, like a, like a Giga or even a Spino. You're really gonna mess stuff up. So, um, anyway, dudes, that is pretty much all you need to know about the spider. So, I'm gonna get over here to a semi safe distance and show you guys the other two commands that I was talking about. Oh my god, they're right on me, dude. Let me just hop off my spider leave him there. I'm going to run over here and spawn him in right over here. So um, it's going to be cheat space summon space spider s underscore character underscore bp underscore c. This is the random level wild so it is going to attack you. Um, if you don't want it to keep attacking you, I would force tame it instantly with cheat, space, force, tame. Or if you don't want to have to worry about force taming it and dying in the process, I'm going to show you a whole other command that spawns in a wild level force tame. So that's going to be cheat, space, summon, tamed, space, spider, s, underscore, character, underscore BP underscore C and you've got a random level force tame and the random level goes all the way up it can be a level 1, level 7, level 20 something or it can go um, it can scale basically all the way up to whatever the highest uh, wild dino cap is wild dino level cap whatever you want to call it uh, is for your server. So since we just recently uh, increased the max wild dino level, it actually spawned this random level in out of 450, so it's not too bad. And it's going wild, too. This little dude's fast, doing damage. Jeez. Oh, we just got stomped out, boy. Level 450. Just got stomped out by, th what, three parasers? Jesus Christ. Oh, another one died. Was that my other one? No, that was my other one. No, wait, what? That's a level 90. Oh, that was that... That was the wild one I... Freaking, uh... Spawned in. Where'd my other one go? I wonder if it died or if it ran away. I don't even know. I'm just gonna assume at this point that it died because I don't see it anywhere. Poor thing is dead. Anyway, dudes, that is all you need to know about the spider. Be careful of these things if you see them out in the wild. Mostly in Ult, in the caves. They like to stick together around those cave areas. So be careful, dudes. If you see these things, you now see uh, the damage they can do. Just them webbing you and then all attacking you at once. You're going to get knocked out instantly and not be able to run away from these things if you're not too careful. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, dudes, like I said, if you guys want to join the server and be part of what we have going on here. Feel free to uh, search for Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list here on Xbox One, or just go to www.ageofwyverns.com to see uh, some stuff about the server before joining, if you don't necessarily want to join right off the bat. But anyway, dudes, hopefully you got something out of this video. Enjoy your new army of spiders, if that's what you do. Put in the comments what the highest level spider you've spawned in so far was or what the highest level of spider you've legit tamed, because that would be interesting. Uh, taming one of these, holy crap, I would like to try that one day. Uh, anyway dudes, keep an eye out for more videos like this, and more uh, videos on us adventuring here in the Age of Wyverns, doing like quests and stuff like that. And, uh, anyway dudes, I'll catch you guys on the flip flop. Wap wap do do wap do do wap wap do do wap